All Might's final United States of Smash. So what's up guys, Fox in here. You all waited a long time for this. This Ultimate Smash appeared like two years ago in the manga. So, was it worth the wait? I think this episode definitely plus ultra the original source material. Honestly, the whole thing, the portrayal of All Might, the animation, the United States of Smash was the best thing ever. It really was perfect. And come on, I can't be the only one that was in tears just watching this. And that was even after the freaking episode was over. I also can't be the only one that freaking watched this multiple times. I mean, right here, right now, this is the ultimate highlight of My Hero Academia Season 3. I think even some of the stuff later in the manga still hasn't topped this moment. And even more so now that it's been animated. Anyway, about the whole United States of Smash scene. Oh my, totally pulled the Deku with that move. He did a fake out with shifting all of his all for one that was left into one of the arms. And even with that busted ass arm just went for it. I mean the whole thing was literally a freaking nuke. Which is pretty appropriate for a USA smash. So screw you all for one, you've been one punched. And even at the end, the number one hero All Might was still standing. Standing strong like a true champ. Or should I say hero. The only BS part is that unfortunately All for One is still alive. So let me mention this about All for One, since I've been thinking about it for quite a bit. This whole situation has been reminding me a lot of Bleach recently. Aizen, I mean All for One has been locked away. Unlike Aizen though, let's hope that All for One's return is actually thought out. Just seeing the work done so far for the series, I don't think we have to worry much about that. As for All for Might's final line as the ultimate hero, you're next. So multiple meanings right there. One really just calling out all the criminals that are freaking watching this at the moment. But definitely an important thing is what it actually means for Deku. He literally has no choice now. He needs to plus ultra the hell out of it. I mean, come on, are you just going to let Endeavor take the spotlight? And about that, Endeavor, I guess you got to take the mantle of number one by default now. And this is talking about the guy that pretty much gave up everything in his life, his family, which he destroyed, the whole mess he did with his wife. All for the goal of taking that number one spot by force. So, what do you think about this now? You didn't freaking earn it. It was just handed to you. So that's gonna be some fun to check out. Anyway, as for some of the other reveals of this episode, since it was quite a juicy episode, you found out a little bit more about the previous One For All successor. Specifically about Nana Shimura. So it turns out pretty much everyone is tied together. All Might, Nana, All For One, and of course Shigaraki. Yes, Mr. Hand Guy Shigaraki was the previous holder's grandson. So why was All For One totally into him? Because he wanted to totally corrupt him. And to be honest, that's going really far for that evil motivation. Unfortunately, this also confirmed that the previous Nana was killed by All For One. I don't think it's too surprising of a reveal, but it now has been confirmed. The one thing you should be concerned about All For One is that he knows about Deku. This guy is fully aware that Deku is the new holder. So, will All For One go after Deku just like he did for Shigaraki? Or is he just gonna get Shigaraki to do it for him? Guess he doesn't have to work too hard for that. Deku is already on his hit list after all. By the way, just a quick side note. Was All For One really hurt that badly in the last fight versus All Might? I mean, this guy is Mr. Potato Head under that mask. Keep in mind that both of these titans weren't even fighting at their prime. Just imagine how much destruction they're capable of, or were capable of. Speaking of which, forget about All For One, what the freaking hell happened to Gran Torino? Gran Torino looked so different back then. He almost resembled Romit in a way, just in a yellow jumpsuit. I mean, with age, this guy lost, what, two thirds of his body mass? Really, aging was not kind on this guy. Anyway, going back to the All For One versus All Might. I guess All Might's United State of Smash really is the ultimate move and power in this world. I mean, this episode, he had All For One still hacking and stacking quirk buffs on top of each other. Still, even after that, this guy's still lost. So, is there just a physical upper limit that you cannot surpass? Not unless you go plus ultra or break your limit, that is. Which really means All For One fucked up. He should have been trying to steal One For All's power. But anyway, let me hear from you. Question of the day. How freaking plus ultra was this episode? Did All Might's final United States of Smash live up to the hype? Were you also in tears and cheering on All Might this episode? Are you still crying? 
Anyway, be sure to give a United States a smash to that thumbs up and subscribe. You can watch 5 plus anime videos here every week. That includes My Hero Academia Season 3 breakdowns. Later today, you could also check out my breakdowns for Darling in the Franks and the SAO Jiju spinoff. I also do have more My Hero videos coming, including stuff about the manga. So definitely subscribe and I'll see you guys later.